we've got some promising news in the fight against the coronavirus. Pfizer says new data out this morning confirmed that an antiviral pill the drug maker developed is highly effective at treating COVID-19. It says a pill can reduce the risk of hospitalization or death by 89% in high-risk unvaccinated adults if it's given within three days of the first COVID symptoms. Pfizer says that it submitted its data to the FDA for emergency use authorization. And if approved, it could become the first antiviral drug on the market developed specifically to target COVID-19. The company made this announcement one year to the day. Think about this. It was one year ago today that we saw the first COVID-19 vaccine shot given here in this country. I remember that very well. Pfizer CEO Albert Borla joins us now. Mr. Borla, it's so good to see you. Per what perfect timing for us to have you here on this particular day. Sounds like we have another weapon in the COVID arsenal. So help us, help us understand, if you could simply tell us how it works and how you think it could change the, change the game in dealing with COVID. Thank you. This is a treatment. It's not something that we use for prevention at this stage. People that are getting sick, unfortunately, some of them ending up in hospitals or ending up dying. With this pill, we have now proved that uh, instead of 10 of them going to hospital, only one will go. And frankly, no one died in this study. So the mortality should be prevented at very, very high levels. As you said, that was 89% within three days. But the even very impressive it is when you gave it also five days of the mm -hmm. symptom onset was 88, so the same results. It was, uh, it's, a, it's a game changer. Yeah, well, we like the term game changer when dealing with COVID. How soon do you think, Mr. Boyle, it could be available? I think it can be available uh, this month. Um, first of all, the first thing that needs to happen is that FDA will uh, provide an approval or authorization, emergency use authorization in this case. I think they have a very high sense of urgency, but I can't talk about them because they need to take all the time they need to, to review the data and uh, make their own decision. Once they make a decision, we have already sent product in the United States. So the product is waiting here. We have already been in very deep discussions with the American government how we will start immediately distribution. And I believe everything will go well once it is approved. Mr. Borla, you, you call it a game changer and looking at the data, I can, I can see why. But I'm curious, what makes you think that the pill will exist parallel to the vaccine as opposed to as a replacement for the vaccine. There's a lot of Americans, maybe 40 percent, who don't want that vaccine. Is this going to encourage them to be like, hey, you know what, we don't need it. I'll just take the pill. There is a risk to happen of what you said, and that would be a very big mistake. Vaccines are needed. People need to prevent getting sick. They should not take chances that they may not get seriously sick because there is a pill that could treat them. People should prevent it. And not also should prevent the disease from them, should prevent the disease from the people that they love. If they get it, they are the ones that will give it to their parents, their grandparents, the kids. So people need to do the vaccinations. But unfortunately, there will be cases that of COVID disease. And now this is the big news, that when we have COVID surges, usually what is happening is that our hospitals are overwhelmed. People are in ICUs. Hospitals need to change their normal procedures. Sometimes they postpone elective surgeries, it's a very big problem for the healthcare system. Right now, with this pill, instead of 10 going there, only one, nine will stay at home and hopefully nobody will die. This is a very big deal. Albert, how will this pill hold up against the variant Omicron? Uh, we believe very, very, very well. Uh, in fact, uh, the latest uh, studies that we did in the lab where we tested the sensitivity, the sensitivity of Omicron is even higher than the other. Uh, variants. It is extremely high against all variants, but Omicron is one of the highest. That doesn't mean that we have 100% proof, but it is, uh, we, we have a strong, 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 strong belief that uh, Omicron will not be affected. We will see the same spectacular results with Omicron as we saw with Delta and other variants. How would you assess how far we've come in a year? I think it's interesting that you're here on a year anniversary. I know you really worked with your team and really pressed your team. How far would you assess we've come in a year and what concerns you, what concerns you a year later? What concerns you most a year later? It's amazing, first of all, and you pointed out that in the beginning, the timing, right? So exactly in the day that we administer the first vaccine, now we have the confirmation of a 90% pill, 89% pill. 
Uh, I think a lot have accomplished. Right now, I'm really optimistic because we have very important, very powerful tools at our hands. What worries me is like everyone, that uh, the whole thing has been politicized. And uh, the disease, the masks, the vaccines, uh, less the pills or the treatments. But uh, that's unfortunate and it happened all over the world, not only here. And uh, yeah. there is also a number of people that uh, they are afraid of the vaccine. And uh, uh, we're still working on those people. Do you think the reality is that we have got to figure out a way to learn to live with COVID? Isn't that our reality as we sit here today? We got to live with it. I, I truly yeah. believe that this pandemic will not end by the virus disappearing. The influenza virus didn't disappear, but we live with it. There is no problem. We don't have to change our lives because there is, a, 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 there is an illness, an influenza. That will happen with COVID as well. The virus will stay for years, it's my belief, but we will be able to control it and have, we can go back to normal life because right. we have very powerful tools. That's gave me the optimism. Like Gail said, we love hearing that this could be a game changer. Yeah. Yeah. We shall see. Albert Boyla, thank you so much.